what's up you guys are backstage here with miss alona at x factor and you fell and got up like a boss yeah i did fall i mean i have a little boo-boo a little scratch but it's okay you, you got know, up like a boss on. though you saw that yes you <laughs> got up you were like you made it act like it was part of your act you were like yeah no what's so funny is because like the lyric to the song was like i'm going down so i literally <laughs> fell down yeah she said you can't hold me down <laughs> yeah but it, how did you feel about the performance? Because I think people don't quite understand that you never go in there like half butt. Like you go in there dancing, performing, singing. So yeah. how did you feel about it? I mean, at first I was really worried during rehearsals because they kept changing my platform. They kept changing my, sh my shoes. I had to change them because I kept tipping over and like I almost fell. <laughs> and like my foot was like on one car and on a platform. And I was supposed to be on the car, but I kept slipping. So I'm like, no, that's not happening. <laughs> it's really hard because, you know, little things like that, it's, it's really important because if one goes wrong and everything, it's going to be a disaster. So it really needs to be perfect all the time. But, you know, nothing's perfect, and I did fall, so. <laughs> but you got right back up. That's yeah, what mattered. It's hard. We have a we have a fan question. Say hi to um, Demotic Sh Shadow. She's a Demi fan. Oh, hi, Demotic Shadow. She wants, she wants to know, are you a fan of Little Mix? Because you did their song in the audition. Yes, I am a fan of Little Mix. I did do their song. I love all their songs, yeah. Yes, yeah, Little Mix is dope, right? How's it with Demi, by the way? Tell me something fun about Demi working with her. Working with Demi, she's she is so fun. I mean, she kind of cusses a little bit, but you know, she's like a sister. I mean, yeah. She's only like how old, like twenty something. Yeah. And you know, um, last mentoring session, she said that maybe next time we'd go to like a tattoo salon or something and get tattoos. So I'm like, go ahead, girl, let's do that and do something fun. But she's so fun. Your parents wouldn't kill you getting a tattoo as long as it's with Demi. Um, uh, maybe a henna tattoo, <laughs> but I mean, my my parents would probably kill me if I did get a real tattoo. Yeah, no tattoos. Um, you know, you the interview we did last time aired in the Philippines, and a lot of people see it. What do you want to say directly? Because they're going through some hard times right now. Yeah, um, to all the people back in the Philippines, please stay strong. I know everybody's having a hard time. I'm doing all the best that I can to help you guys. All my family's helping. And just please stay strong. For, for, for everybody, for you, for me. Um, I'm going to stay strong for you guys too and every performance that I'm going to do, I'm going to dedicate it to all of you and please hang in there. We're going to help out, I promise. And uh, you know, I know it's a, it's a huge disaster. A lot of people are, are starving. It's like an apoc apocalyptic out there. I mean, people are, are traumatized, you know, seeing dead bodies everywhere and also, uh, some relatives that I don't even know, you know, I hope they're okay. Their house is destroyed also, so I hope they're okay on my mom's side. But um, just please stay strong. I know it's, it's hard times, but I, God, God is here for us, and, you know, He won't give us anything that we can't handle. So, thank you so much. Mahal ko kayo. I'm praying for you guys every night, every second. Please, stay strong.